uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I hope you're fine. Okay. Uh, um, so last week, uh, a friend of mine that I actually follow on Facebook posted something. It was, uh, it was a flat house. It was a house that happened to have a flat roof. And you know, they are, you were saying something about it. So there are quite a number of engagements uh, on that post specifically. Uh, there is one comment that really caught, it kind of caught a little more of my attention. Uh, uh, that gentleman is right and he's wrong at the same time uh, because, because there's a lot of misinformation out there. Uh, so when I come here, I come here to give you, I do my best to give you the most practical explanations so that you can understand these things in construction before you actually make certain decisions, you know. Uh, and that is why I'm here. I'm here to discuss all this. Uh, so I thought to myself, since we're in a complete lockdown and, and today I'm not on site, uh, I can take off some time so that we can discuss this, so that you can understand from my perspective and from my experience. And then you can go out and apply it on your building projects or you can take these precautions be before you can actually decide to have your house designed or before you build your house so that you can know the consequences of whatever decision you're actually making. Uh, so before we go into this, uh, if you believe my videos are really uh, being of good information to you, I, I suggest that you subscribe to the channel, also like hit the like button so that the YouTube, uh, this helps the YouTube algorithm to push this video to more people so they can actually have a look at it and have something to learn. I mean, why would you want to learn something and you don't want others to know? So please hit the like button. Is that uh, most people who are having houses that actually have flat roofs and, uh, and they didn't take certain precautions early on, uh, they are now, you know, they complain about how their roofs are leaking, how the ceiling is uh, is kind of leaking, how the walls are getting stained. Many people still choose to go for flat roofs because uh, flat roofs are considered to be much cheaper. What actually makes flat roofs much cheaper is because of the simplicity that they have in terms of construction. Uh, the roof truss that you actually use to make flat roofs is way much simple than the, actually the trusses that we actually use to make the ordinary hip roofs and and gable roofs and gable roofs eh? you avoid the you avoid the cost of buying ridges and valleys ridges and valleys when you're actually building the roof and also um the fact that for flat roofs you you literally use almost all the iron sheets that you buy without making any off cuts uh, so using this project uh, that i'm currently working on i thought i would use it to to help you guys understand why why what actually causes these flat roofs to leak and also under what circumstances these, these roofs are leaking. Then later on I'll show you um, one of the best ways to have your flat roof so, so that you don't have this, this, so that you do not have this issue of leaking. Now here is an example of the conventional flat roofs that many people are actually making. Uh, the way this is supposed to work is that uh, rainwater is supposed to come onto this roof. Now when rainwater comes on this roof, uh, it's supposed to gently slope over here and then get down into this gutter. Now this gutter actually has a downpipe that actually leads the water to the outside where the water can flow out and then it is safely taken to the rest of the, to the ground. However, um, you know, after a long time, as time goes on, uh, you find that um, many things are actually beginning to collect on this roof. You find there are a lot of dead leaves that are falling onto the roof. You find dead animals like dead birds, dead insects are collecting on this roof. Uh, sometimes soil comes and lands on, lands on this roof and is drained into this gutter so you find some plants are beginning to grow inside this gutter. Uh, quite a number of things happen, even polythene bugs also land on this roof and they also fall into this gutter. So with time, you find that uh, this gutter is getting clogged up and you find that the, a lot of debris is actually collecting here. So sometimes uh, the downpipe or the outlet pipe is actually gets blocked. So when this water lands here, it has nowhere to go. It begins to la it begins to pile up and pile up and pile up. So this water begins to overflow, and some of it may leak into the ceiling. That is what now causes the ceiling to begin getting stained. And sometimes because of this water spending so much, and sometimes because of this water spending so much here, the walls begin to get stained. So that is where the issue comes in. So one of the best ways is to solve that problem is having a big concrete gutter here. Instead of having these ordinary gutters, you just choose to have a big concrete gutter, which can also quite be costly. Um, 
and then so that uh, it's big enough even the down pipe has to be big enough so that uh, so that there is not there is no substance there's no foreign body big enough that lands on the roof that fails to actually make it through the pipe and go down so that you'll never have this gutter getting filled up and getting clogged uh, using the same example, I just want to explain how all this, uh, how we can avoid that issue. Um, of course, you, uh, you as a client, sometimes the client is not able to really understand the consequences of the decisions is, of the decisions they make. So it's it really should be the responsibility of the architect or the designer or the engineer to to inform the client prior to making all these decisions so that. Uh, the client knows actually what they are going into and they understand the consequences of the decisions they are making. Because sometimes you could see a design it looks really nice until you reach the point of constructing it and you realize some things are going to cost you much more than they should actually be costing you just because you are not you are not aware of these things at the point when the design was being made, you know. Uh, so um looking at this design, uh, this is a this is a normal large bedroom house and this this one happens to have a rooftop. Eh? So uh, Conveniently, this slab here should be waterproofed, should be uh, some waterproofing admixture should be added into this concrete so that water never gets to seep through into this slab. Um, also, you might want to notice that uh, on these slabs you have these uh, drain holes. There is one here and uh, there is uh, one around here. Okay, uh, so this drain hole, as you see, um, uh, the gully trap is supposed to actually lead into the duct. Now this duct is where most of the plumbing works of this uh, building are actually going to pass. You can see it here. So we don't have um, so we don't have pipes just running on the surface of the wall anyhow. You know, uh, basically leaving that aside, let's go back to this part of the roof. Um, this roof, uh, this roof now, as you can see on this other side, uh, you cannot see the roof. But as you go to the back of the house, you begin to see the roof, as you can see from here right now. You begin to see the roof and you actually see that when the water comes here it drains into this gutter and this gutter leads the water into the downpipe and the water is safely disposed off onto the ground and now with this even if a lot of debris falls here the polythene bags dead birds and all that stuff even if they fall here uh, you will never find yourself in a situation whereby the gutter is being clogged that water has to backflow into the into the ceiling of the house the water is always going to be flowing outside and this is a, a very sustainable thing of course because here yeah, you won't need to be checking on the roof to see if the gutter is still fine or if it's been clogged already things like that um as you can see the whole house basically that's how it, they, that, that's how it's been designed you can see even here same method even here the same system the water is going to come here onto, through the roof it's going to bring water into the gutter and um and the gutter is going to lead it down onto this roof. All you can see, that's how basically this side of the this this part of the house has been designed. Okay, so basically, uh, it's very important to put all these all these things into consideration. You know, before you get your house built, because some things might cost you much more than you actually thought they should be costing you. Okay. So I hope you guys uh, have enjoyed the video. I hope you've had something to learn. Um, please. Uh, if you've had something to learn and you want to keep getting more of this content, uh, please hit, uh, please hit the like button and also, uh, please hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel, so that you already know what to do before you actually start on your, before you actually embark on your construction project. Okay, otherwise have a good time. Thank you.